Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to some more Victoria 3. We are Canada. We are in the last 20 years of the game, and we are nearly, but not quite, the nation with the highest per capita GDP. Belgium keeps ticking ahead here, but we're working on it. That's going to be our real goal here in our Canada run. We recently switched our construction sector, well, recently, literally at the end of the episode, over to arc welded buildings. Interestingly enough, the price of, of electricity didn't go... It was predicted to go golden. I don't know why it didn't immediately. Maybe something rebalanced. Maybe some other people set up some export routes. I don't know. In any case, we know we're going to need more power, so we are setting up a bunch more power plants. It's still going to be very profitable for us. But yeah, we've doubled our construction output by going to um, arc welded buildings. And that is going to be quite good for us right now. Right now, all, all the build apparently oil rigs are not something that can be... Oh, no, we are going to need a full transfer from there. But all of our power plants that we're building, we have to pay out of pocket, not during the investment pool. So uh, we're going to be running a deficit for a little bit, but it is a healthy deficit. If we stopped constructing or if it went back to the investment pool, we'd in fact be turning a big profit. So we know we're good. We're just going to get a bunch of power plants. These power plants are being built in a variety of different areas because they're going to operate on different modes. We'll have some on oil, some on coal, some just running hydroelectric. Hydroelectric ones definitely won't give us as much power, but uh, we're gonna just play with the input good cost, just because we have a limited supply of oil. We have maxed out our oil mines, our oil wells, I guess, in Ontario and Alberta. We can't build anymore, and that's all we've got. We never did uh, colonize anywhere that could build oil, unfortunately, um, and we're kind of dependent on like Great Britain or, you know, someone else in the British market to have maybe claimed some more of oil. We could consider, you know, warring on someone for it. I hear warring for oil is something that has happened historically, believe it or not. Yeah, convoy is still something we could have more of. However, we could, we cannot, um, um, we can't build any more ports. We're maxed out on those too. We might be able to get a tech that increased our port level maximum. But right now, everywhere that can have a port is at level eight, which is our current cap. And yeah, electricity is expensive but we're going to build a ton of power plants here. Once this queue ends, a bunch of auto construction will probably queue up, and then we'll we'll take a look at the power situation. I suspect we'll be building more of it as well, but we'll wait on that. At least everything that's auto-queued, most things that are auto-queued anyway, will be consuming the investment pool, so we'll just pay off our debt while that goes. But we are negative bureaucracy here. That's not great, so what I might do is alt-click a wee bit of... Do, 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 do. Let me... Uh, let me keep it that expanded, because we're going to be revisiting it pretty quickly. The fact that there's zero profit here in Washington is fine. There, there's not a constructed one yet, so that zero is not actually something we're concerned about. Um, I'm going to queue up three more in Ontario. The ones in Ontario are using uh, telephones, which is still a little bit of a shortage in the market, but is mostly being managed. Actually, we're not even getting... Yeah, we don't actually have the message about the shortage. C Quebec, any chance you could switch over to this and not destroy the economy? You know what? I think you can. Although, arguably, we don't need that much bureaucracy. No, no. Let's run this for a bit. As long as we don't get an actual shortage. I think I'm going to be fine with this. And yeah, we'll just build more electrics places. In fact, what I might want to do, because I think all of our electrics is in celibs right now. I'm going to go and... Manually queue up say five in Ontario, uh, five in Washington. I'm going to check to see. Okay. Everywhere that's not Canadian blank is either incorporated or in the process of being incorporated. So I could build a few more there too. But I'll just leave that there for now. Yeah, more convoys, more market access in Alberta. It's at 99%, so it's not too bad right now. I'm just, I'm just going to regular click it, not alt click. Alt click it to the top of the queue, and we don't need it that badly. Oh, right. And then, you know what? Cancel these government administrations, because now it's going crazy. I'll eat the estate construction efficiency for now, because I can't really create new trade routes currently anyway, because we're a little bit shy on um, convoys. I don't need to boost colonial affairs. I don't want to do social security or workplace safety. Those are fine. I could boost law enforcement. Let's boost the health system. That seems okay. No. 
I can afford to max these out for now, so I will. Oh, yeah, this stupid war. I don't know if Britain's ever going to finish this war here. So we're kind of stuck in it with some mobilized stuff, but we never mobilized everyone, so... You know, maybe I can... Can I help? Is there a front? Oh, there's no front. And no one's getting any kicking war score. Are they ever going to peace out? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I guess they'd have to mount a naval invasion. I don't know if they're willing to do that. So again, we're going to run a heavy deficit right now because we're having to pay for the power plants out of pocket. But we'll be bouncing back fairly quickly. Maybe I over the power plants. And it's going to be fine. And we are paying a lot for our telephones right now, too. And I guess our electricity. But at least the electricity is about to get cheaper. And since I could pull back on the power plants, but first of all, almost all the power plants are already constructing except for this one. And at least a nice round numbers. But yeah, no, that, that'll be good. We'll, we'll be happy that we've got them. I'm certain of it. And yeah, how much are we paying for our welfare payments? 68k. And I don't think there's a real strong reason to have it running. I think... Like, it's a little hard for me to know. Like, some of them are being supported with welfare payments. I suppose we might get more radicals from people who don't have enough money to buy all their goods. But maybe we could just fix it by, you know, making sure their goods are affordable. You know, I'm going to take the, um, uh, the, the sort of capitalist mentality of it. You know? Something like that. Finish this, please. The more of these finish, the more of the electrics we're going to start doing, because I think that's, yeah, electrics industry. Not to be confused with the power plants. That's less that we're spending on our own construction. Plus, it's going to bring our internal prices down, which is all going to be good. Maybe, kind of, sort of. There we go. Nothing critical anymore. Still want more telephones? Well, we're about to make a bunch of those. And yeah, the price of the telephone stuff is really high right now because we, um, we've switched over all our government industries to the telephone. So we have a massive excess of bureaucracy. But yeah, I'll, I'll eat it for now for the state construction efficiency. I don't think there's anything much for us to interact with right now. Trade unions are no longer super cranky, which is nice. So we don't have the 30% debuff to our construction efficiency actually really helpful yeah, and a lot of it is their opposition to recent changes otherwise they'd actually be pretty happy with me how oh, the leader of the trade unions strongly opposes multiculturalism well you don't have to be such a jerk ass oh because he's an ethno-nationalist no, so the trade unions themselves aren't but the the leader currently is an ethno-nationalist well that's really shitty for him to be that way so Really? We're not using all construction? I'm surprised it hasn't auto-queued a bunch. Oh, uh, I think... No, that's ours. I know it waits until, like, the total time goes down. There we go. Auto-queuing the glass works. Is, do we seriously have so much construction capacity? Because the auto-queue does say something about X number of weeks. That's an auto-build power plant. Okay, it is using all of it. All right. We're going to be fine. Maybe as our manually queued up stuff burns off, this is going to kind of start correcting itself. There we go. New motor industries. Ooh, Liberal Party founded. More power. Electricity is higher, but not super high. We are going to need more engines, but, I mean, auto queue of motor industry is working in. And yeah, we're still doing deficit spending right now. We're still doing some power plant stuff, but yeah, overall our economy is in stupendously good shape. Oh, the industrialist, what do you want? The gamble. Political gamble for our government. Or become less popular. Well, I, don't, I want the industrialist to be popular, so I guess we'll take the gamble route and see what happens. 50-50. 50% of the time, it works all the time. But yeah, those negative modifiers are burning off quite quickly with the trade union. Gamble failed. Dustalith can't be trusted. He takes the blame, so we kick him out. He's not even that popular, so I actually don't mind him. There we go. 
go. Who do we get now for the industrialists? Oh, he's popular. Firebrand? Oh, giving him the popularity boost. Pious. Yeah, I think that'll be good. We would like a popular leader for the industrialists. I think we're looking to run more of those. All right, we might get lucky on the no social security policy. Tick the first time. Nope. And nothing happened. Oh! Nope. And it's just gone. Okay. We'll try again later. No one's cranky anymore. Look at this. Trade union is plus 11. And this is pretty strong. I mean, the manufacturing industry throughput is crazy. We don't really need the workforce ratio right now because we actually have so many people, but I guess it's all good. Like that. Back in the green. We'll pay off a little bit of debt. These are still manually queued constructions over here, and then auto queuing is happening there. Profitable industries that have full workforce. Alright. This war is still stuck here, which is still a little annoying. I mean, I have a navy. I could plan a naval invasion. And technically, should I? Although this might stop, like, Great Britain from starting a, like, a more important war somewhere. Like, or not more important, but more expensive war that we really aren't interested in. We might just lose some troops, too. I should get an Admiral, anyway. Supply Bandit. No. Okay, we'll take Edmund Curry. Let's see what happens. Maybe we can help this war progress. I doubt it, but let's pretend. All right, election go. Money go brewer. Yeah. yeah. Still draining the investment pool, but that's cool. That, I mean, that's that's actually quite good because that was money that was sitting around not being used for anything. And yeah, almost all of our investment pool, or almost all of our construction is from the investment pool. Eight weeks. We're still not using all the construction capacity. It's crazy. Do we have to go back to manually queuing because the the auto queuing is not happening quickly enough? Well, let's take a gander at our market situation and see how things are. Hardwood ironclads. Maybe we should build more shipyards. Cell phone's still high. Hard wood. How's the regular wood? Oh, this would be a good thing to build potentially even overseas. If we went and built um, logging camps. Okay, you can have a whole one in Guinea. Yeah, what I'm going to do is these states here, which are going to still be unincorporated. Actually, some of them may have been incorporated, but some of the, these aren't. So, we don't really care about their tax revenue if they're unincorporated, so it's a good place to put the base production in, because those things aren't that valuable, and it saves workers for our, um, our tax areas for, like, fancy industry. But, we'll finish off the Ontario one, or the Quebec one for stack and bonus, maybe Ontario as well. Yeah, I think, I think we could really make do with a bunch of these. The revenue numbers did get tweaked here in uh, 1.04, actually. Or 1.05. Um, it, uh, it doesn't include the wage things the same way, and it tries to calculate the price expectations a bit better. So yeah, wood's not very expensive. Hardwood is still ridiculously expensive. I don't know if we can, like, have an extra wood sink. Because I don't think... I can't hardwood harder. Right? If we take a look at our lumber mills, logging camps, right? It's just softwood, hardwood. That's it. It's as hard as we can go. Actually, make money. We take a bunch of extra workers. Oh, we're in logging camps. Uh, let's do this. Free up some laborers. Transportation costs are still decent. All right, you're on flash freezing. That's not new tech. Nothing I can do for subsistence farms. Coffee plantations, you can do rail transport. And automatic irrigation? Oh, hell yes. 
Sulfur mine, not currently profitable. I don't think I'll make a change. Theoretically, you just need more things using you. Maybe you should just put more things on auto build. You know, if you're profitable. Yeah, you won't make as much money. I mean, I guess as long as you're turning a profit. Yeah, oil's not ridiculously expensive. Okay, so yeah, we can have them all on auto expand. That's going to be fine. Okay, yeah, get all those logging camps. It is going to tank the price of, of regular wood, of soft wood, but... I mean, what are we going to do about that? What is this? Rise of far left and far right political parties in Canada has led... Liberal party to portray themselves as the voice of reason, upcoming election, a moderate centrist alternative to extremism. Who are in the Liberal Party? Liberal Party is industrialist. Oh, yeah! A hundred percent. Do some shaking up. No, 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 no. Yes, let's add momentum to Liberal Party. The industrialists definitely support a lot of laws we're into, so them getting more clout is going to be good. Social Christian Party build it off. So jeez. Trade unions and petit bourgeoisie. Interesting combination. And they actually would like me. We could get a bunch of legitimacy probably by pulling them in here. Yep. Which I don't see a problem. Oh, we could bring everyone in. I mean, that would lower the legitimacy that much more. But it's kind of hilarious. Okay, we can set it 88%. That's going to be okay. Any chance the Petit Bourgeoisie... None of those actually matter. Any chance we could get the rural folks to like us for something? Not really. Could we take another crack at free trade? Okay. Better success chance to start off with than last time. No one's becoming radicalized either, which is nice. Although we... Yeah, we lost the top bonus of trade unions, but that's fine. We don't care about the workforce, workforce ratio right now. Oh, did I actually succeed in my landing? God, I'm so good at this game. I don't know why Great Britain wasn't trying the uh, the naval invasion. Do have another island? Here, you can all go there. Just wrap up that war. Why not? And yeah, now that their territory is actually... Oh, the fact that this is like this probably means there's no more front. Yeah. Um, they've just lost their home. And now they're going to tick negative again. If the war score... War goal isn't occupied, then there's a floor of zero for the war enthusiasm. But now it's occupied, so they're going to drop like crazy, which is great. Still wondering. Maybe we should start our own wars. Maybe we should get more oil. Why aren't you asking Great Britain? Yeah, I can't. So, oh, that, so it's a little bit of a bug in a sense, because it's not possible for them to join my trade, my customs union. But I guess it means that if I was independent, they would. Okay. Um. Market. Hoyle. Show potentials. Venezuela or Persia, maybe. What's your... Um, you have a defensive pact with Brazil. Alliance with Sindh, which is fine. Defensive pact. Okay, you have a lot of little defensive packs, but that's it. Great Britain is even right next to Venezuela and Brazil, so we'd have like a toehold to start off with. Okay, Zulia specifically that has oil. I 
very tempted to try to make a play over here for the good of our market. Hmm. Huh. I, I really like this idea. Unless we hit something in North Africa. I don't think so. We could also potentially puppet them. Okay, there you go. That war is finally over. Which is important because we wouldn't have been able to uh, pull them into a war. Um, uh, pull Great Britain into a war while they were busy. Yeah, how long does it take for a, like a, an interest to actually pop in? Because we've declared interest over here, but it's not applicable yet, apparently. Oh, there we go. So, really what I want to do is I want to conquer Zulia. Okay. Great Britain, France, United States. That's the United States. We're maxed out. France. We're also maxed out. Spain. Yeah, maxed. Okay, we're not maxed with the Netherlands at all. We should be able to maybe... Well, we should be able to pull Great Britain in here regardless. Now, what if the United States sides with them? Um, can I find out... Their neutral potential threat. I don't want the U.S. to get involved. All right. I can't conquer Zulia. Now, what we have to do is we have to immediately bring in... Oh, we can call in the obligation. Immediately bring in Great Britain. There you go. They take over. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, because we're already in here. Right. Now, Great Britain is now the leader in this. We are going to mobilize all of our army. You can be on the Zulia front, and the rest of you will all be on the Para front. still actually not fully cute anymore. Um, let's take a quick gander at our population. Lower strata. Wow, their actual needs are pretty affordable. Close the expensive thing. Can we get more into a textile industry? Let's do it. We'll build a... What's a Canadian brand? Roots? Is it, are there other Canadian clothing brands? He asked Canadianly. I don't know. I haven't built a lot in Alberta. Let's build 10 textile mills in Alberta. Done. Mm hmm. <laughs> And yeah, luxury goods are, are nice there, too. All right, how's this looking? All right, so far, no one else is joining there. Oh, we're still in the early phase. No one could join on either side right now. Okay. A little market access. Uh, East Angola. That is probably going to become a more of a problem because we are adding more, uh, more buildings there. Ontario. I'm going to alt-click and then regular-click one. And Washington, if I can click on you... I will just regular click another railway. Okay. This is going to give us some more ports as well. I mean, I could add multiple war goals, but I want to limit my infamy. And you know, it would mostly because it might affect who might be willing to join various sides of the war. Okay, now, troops haven't arrived everywhere yet. We actually might want to take a defensive stance over here. Yeah. 
push in there is probably going to... Did I not send a bunch of troops over here? I'm still moving. Okay. I don't know. Hopefully there's going to be enough, like, infrastructure or port access or something in uh, British, uh, British Guyana, right? Yeah. To actually support our troops. Okay. No one big has joined on either side. I don't know if Britain's moved their troops over here yet. I might just want to take a defensive stance on both fronts right now. I don't know. Just to get established. There you go. You've arrived. Well, I'll have one, like, properly lock in on the defense. And then we'll see. Okay, no one joined anywhere. They're worried. I don't think they're going to back down. No, I think it's too late for them to back down. I'm not sure. And yeah, this is looking okay. Good. And yeah, that's our bigger army of 15. So we'll push through Venezuela. We're looking to take the war goal as soon as possible. It's looking positive over here. With British troops have probably... Or I think they're already there. Okay, I think the move towards Venezuela is going to work out. And then, yeah, we'll secure a little bit more oil. Which I think is going to be great for the glory of Canada. All right, bureaucracy is decent. Oh, we actually... No, we have... No, we do have un... Unfracking trade routes completely. Okay. That'll free up some convoys for the other routes that could benefit from it. Oh, you are on defend over here. No, you can actually go to full push. That's going to be okay. And over here... We're going to get pushed back. Our offense is actually great. But yeah, we brought fewer troops, unfortunately. Yeah, a bunch more of them are dying, but we are going to get pushed back as a total numbers. Okay, I think that's it is going to be okay here. And yeah, we'll move everyone there, and I mean, hopefully Britain will push. But we'll just do a little token, and then at least with the bigger group, we should get some better numbers on things. All right, money is profitable. Economy is going burr. And troops are troopifying. I'm not doing anything with my navy, and I think that's fine. I could protect convoy trade routes over here or something like that, but no, we're good. Okay, it's the same battle. Okay. And over here, hopefully it doesn't get stuck in the thing where, like, well, one of these never wins. I suppose we could plan a naval invasion back here. I could pull one of these groups out. Might not be the dumbest idea in the universe. I should know. I've had a lot of dumb ideas. That is still the same battle. All right. And over here, I think we won one. Yeah. Victor. Actually, maybe it wasn't us in the first place. Okay, cannon here. Despite having so few troops, we are successfully pushing here. Well, they did a blunder, which is going to be part of it. And we have aggressive maneuver, which is pros and cons, but we'll do it. Oh, Brazilians coming to Washington. I guess they're fleeing this war. I'll, I'll just put my little micro troops on defensive mode. I'll have to fix this one after here. But yeah, this, this big group from Britain is advancing the front. They'll definitely be able to do it. We can just rely on them to ha have it happen. All right. Good. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're solid. I don't think I even have to babysit anything over there. We're just in great shape. All right. Get the extra power plants going. That's lovely. Lots of textile mills. Yeah, that's going to improve the financial situation of a lot of our people. Any chance? Oh, my God. GDP number one worldwide. Screenshot. Take that, Belgium. Now I can just end the game. It's It's perfect. GDP 6th overall. Uh, wait. Oh, there we go. It's still showing the other tooltip. I'm like, something's weird here. Uh, so next up would be the East India Company. So we're well ahead of Austria. But it's still a bit of a trip to get to the East India Company. Although once we get there, hitting Germany and Qing 
will fall side by side. We have like two thirds of the GP of Great Britain, despite just being one of their puppets. Oh man, yeah, we are just, just going great here. This production queue is empty again, even with the auto builds, just not keeping up. Yeah, look at our standard of living is excellent. Our lower strata is actually at middling, which is amazing. Yeah, clothes, more electricity. Steel prices could also be a thing. Are our steel mills doing arc furnacey things? Yeah, they are. They are on auto expand, but maybe we could accelerate it a bit more too. Yeah, some of them are queuing up. Let me go to 10, bring up to an even five. I think one of those was the auto expand. Um, you don't have a ton of workers. And I'll go ahead and do that. I know we don't have the attacking bonus, but that'll give us more places to maybe... I mean, it should auto-expand a little faster. Um, and it does have some extra workers, so that's going to be okay. Yeah, minus two over here, but again, I'm not totally concerned. We'll finish this, then we'll move our proper troops over here. Yeah, you're, is this still the same battle? Yeah, it's still the same battle. That hasn't changed. Oh, we did get rid of a battalion. Oh, we're actually going to win it now. Well, hell... Yeah, it's the same battle, but we turn the tides. They're superior numbers. Okay. I mean, they were taking more casualties. I guess we were able to just push it. If we kill enough of them, then we'll have more people. Okay, yeah, progression's nice. And yeah, the important thing is that this is pushing quickly. Nine. Yeah. Oh, these are actual British troops. Huge numbers over here, so that is gonna push very fast. Actually, if anything, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reposition some of these small guys over here. I don't know if that increases the rate at which we push the front, or if we can take multiple provinces simultaneously. It might not make any difference whatsoever. I suspect it might not, because it's just one active battle per front. I mean, at least if it does push the front a little faster, then it's going to be okay. And I don't think there's a lot of troops on defense. Well, I mean, there's some. Yeah, there we go. So more does add the, make the pushing go faster. Oh, and the, actually this front did split a little bit. Beautiful. And they've got none on this one. So yeah, that's just gonna, we're gonna roll through that super duper fast. Get to the war goal. Beautiful, okay. And then yeah, everyone will get repositioned over here once that is done. And yeah, we'll have the war goal, which should increase the ticking war score and make sure that they can't just sit at a zero. Britain didn't add any more war goals or anything weird like that, so... It's just going to be us getting a state full of oil. We'll have to build some ports there, unless it already has some. But we'll want to build ports in any case. Like, we'll need ports so that it's not isolated, but we'll want ports because more convoys, more better! Yeah, let's keep doing that. Canada will not be deterred. Oh, textile mills. Yeah. Sewing machines. Elastics. Powered loom. Sure. And you can be publicly traded. You can auto expand. I think I'm going to build... Some more textile industries. More places that can auto expand and things. Railways there. Just keep ahead of things a little bit. Alberta. You know what? You can get two as well. Okay. Push, 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 push. Yeah, and we're making we're making progress here. Oh, Great Britain's pushing from the south of their uh, from Guiana as well. I don't know why there wasn't a front there from the start. Actually, maybe there was a little bit of impassable terrain in some weird way. Okay, compression ignition. This is one of the reasons we needed a ton of oil, because I wanted to be able to run these. Don't really need the dough roller. We do have a food industry, though. Not much of one, but although the price of things is pretty high. You know what? Screw it. Dough rollers it is. We might want to build more, because groceries are fairly pricey. There's 
little bit of Venezuela left over there. There you go, negative. Yeah, they're going to be GGing out of this relatively soon. I mean, all of Venezuela is held, well, almost. Um, and most importantly, the war goal is going to be held as well. There's currently no troops fighting in Brazil, but that's fine. Because, yeah, they're, they're taking war score stuff. It's going to be too much. And very soon, all these troops here are going to get repositioned into Brazil. Oh, they're pushing back here. Nope. No, they're not. Well, they might. The British troops don't have a heck of a lot of morale. All right, let's take another look at our market here. Um... What would be nice is, like, the low-tier stuff. We could just queue a bunch in some of our overseas stuff. Lead is still on the pricey side. Rubber is also on the pricey side. You know, that might not be a bad thing. Yeah, let's, um... Max out... Some rubber in the places that we got. And we might end up building some there, too. We'll see. Actually, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, let's see about lead... Nice even 10. Feels good. There you go. Okay. And yeah, New Brunswick, we might prefer building industries, but we'll see. Okay, we do have so much. Do we just integrate the rest? We've actually integrated most. Oops, that's over here. Most of our states, yeah. Yeah, I'm not worried about those. We'll just sit on the extra bureaucracy for now, use them for trade routes and whatnot. Groovy. Market access is going to be fine. Venezuelan trade route coffee. You know what? We can probably just cancel that and just expand our own coffee plantations. Yeah. Oh, that's Zuli. Oh, whoa. Okay, slow down. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, done. I don't know why the music got all creepy for us winning the war. Auto scroll here is a little annoying. Okay, what we're gonna do in Zulia, who are complaining about things. So first of all, yeah, we're gonna alt click a port. In fact, I might alt click all the ports. Because I know I also want to build oil here. You know what? We want the convoys. I'm going to alt-click all the ports in Zulia. What I might do is tear some of these down and just make sure we have the right workers or the right things. Yeah, you have no oil rigs. Venezuela had tons of oil capacity here and only here and never built any oil. Wow. Yeah, we're we'll probably going to have to close some of these down. I'm going to do this. I might keep the coal. Get rid of this logging camp. You know, it's just going to be a bunch of unemployed people right now. Deal with it. I'll revisit some of the things over here. Um, five years. North Andean. Heritage cultural trait. European. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we're going to incorporate you. That's going to be groovy. What I'd like to do is run some edicts over here, but I still don't want to cancel the porcelain consumption taxes. Okay. Yeah, these ports build fairly quick. So first of all, it's got to become non-isolated. Are we... Yeah, I'll just declare neutrality on that. Don't show me the little headquarters. It's going to be fine. But yeah, I expect there's going to be some turmoil here. In fact, there is a lot of it. Unless I cancel the porcelain for a little while, just so I can do the violent suppression here. I can't build police stations specifically here. Yeah, I would like to do... Oh, I can't do violent suppression because of my, uh, my laws anyway. All right, never mind. Yeah, but we need we need at least one port to finish so it's no longer isolated. All right, we're getting a warning about that. Yeah, exactly. Session movement possible in North Andean, but they're really small. Oh, right. I don't need to declare an interest over here anymore. Although, yeah. Um... Consider this because we might consider looking into a play on Persia for more oil. The Canadian oil monopoly. 
shouldn't be particularly infamous. No, we're still reputable. What is this here? Oh, the railway strike. Wait, that's still there? But we, we overcame the railway strike. I'm a little annoyed by that. I'm also annoyed that I'm gonna have to put yet another cut in an episode of Victoria. Oh, it's so sad. Ah, oh, what a glorious game. Love it so much. Yes, it's still, you know, we're still looking for, like, there's going to be more balance actively being worked on. Ah! Yeah, well, I guess no free trade right now. That's frustrating. Okay, we'll see about maybe starting a new law next time. Folks, thanks a lot. I'll see you soon.